Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden with The Geek Group, and today is the day when traditionally we would do, be doing the quarterly lab update video, but, well, we don't have a lab right now. So I want to take a minute and talk to everybody about that. We've been getting a lot of email, we've been getting a lot of comments from people all over the world, all the membership and that, and I wanted to take a minute and talk to everybody about what's going on. On May 5th, 2010, The Geek Group shut down all operations in Kalamazoo County. Our heavy industries lab is still owned by us, as is all our other buildings in Grand Rapids. We actually own the heavy industries lab. We own the uh, Eastwood Tavern. We still own both of those. They're both up for sale. The uh, Geek House, the, the original Geek House was a rental, and we want to thank Dave, St. Dave, the awesome landlord. Uh, dude, you're amazing, and anybody who's interested in renting the old Geek House, contact me at info at thegeekgroup.org, and we'll put you in contact with a really cool landlord. He's a, he's a good guy. Uh, so that's, that's his, that's taken care of. Geek House 2 was finished as a project and donated to the guys that were living there. And so, you know, we've helped out a couple homeless guys to give them a leg up and we have given away AI. The Geek Group and I don't own Applied Intellect anymore. Um, that's all shut down. The Heavy Industries Lab was shut down on May 1st, 2010. We have some equipment stored there right now, but almost everything's moved. All the expensive stuff came right here with us. All the big CNC stuff is in storage, and all of our equipment is boxed up and ready to ship. So as soon as we find a lab in the new town, we're set there. Now the big announcement that everybody's been waiting for. The Geek Group has settled down a new home. We have settled down our new town, and we're making progress on securing a lab here. We've got the big major lab sorted out a long-term plan. Our problem is right now that we're working on a short-term solution while we close that deal because that deal is going to take upwards of a year to finalize and what we need short-term is a similar to the heavy industry size lab. We're looking for something around 20,000 square feet. We're not really picky. It can be anywhere in the Grand Rapids metro area and beyond that we're, we're interested in exploring anything. So if you know anybody in the Grand Rapids area, it could be as far west as Coopersville, could be as far north as 10 Mile, east to the Beltline, south to, I don't know, 60th or whatever, anywhere within that range. We're looking for a big ugly industrial building that we can get donated and there's a lot of them out there and we're just looking for the right guy. So anybody who facilitates that anybody who steps up and donates a building or anything like that we're happy to work some major mojo with you to see what we can do to you know make it worth your while so yeah that's pretty much the the basics and the big news the past three months have been really hard we've been through a lot uh, the entire Kalamazoo staff quit that sucked um, because nobody wanted to move they, they just didn't want to do it what really bit on that one was they didn't tell us they were quitting until after we'd already got a five bedroom house here and spent a ton of money and got vehicles for everybody and did all that jazz. Now they waited until after we spent all the money and made all the preparations and then they said, oh yeah, by the way, we're not going to do it. So that, that one bit pretty hard and yeah, I'm not happy about that. But um, the entire executive staff remains. We've hired a whole new camera crew and that's these guys. So come here, come, come on out here for a second and say hi. And th this, there's only three of them here with me right now, but you guys can meet some of these guys. This is Rob, who is, com oh, here, I'm blocking you. This is Rob, who is a computer guru. What are you doing? I'm trying to come out. What, I, man, it, I don't know. He's it wasn't this complicated when like little Richard came out, okay? I just, <laughs> who's Joe Who's what? That, that, I don't even drink drum, so get, get your butt out here. Come, come here, come here. That, there's cables and stuff. So you're gonna you're gonna want to get on the other side of the table, I think, because the cameras are zoomed in a bit. So this is the guys. Some of them, um, you, you can see the blocking, guys. It's it's you gotta. Okay, yeah. this this is Travis. He's a cinematographer and lead Steadicam operator. And there's there's a whole video that you're gonna get to see on why he got a broken nose and a black eye. But I like to fight. Travis is awesome, and he's he's chivalry is not dead. This is Rob, who has been here for a month, and I think he's actually uttered five words in total, but he's a genius with audiovisual stuff in relation to computers and a hell of a camera guy. And this is Andy back here, who has an impressive ability to freeze on camera, and, <laughs> and is a damn fine cameraman as well. 
Um, so you'll be seeing a lot of these guys. We've got, um, there's also, there's Andrea, there's Scotty Diaz, there's Laura, there's, I, we got a ton of people. We've got uh, new people in the administrative side of things. We, we hired a new uh, bookkeeper who is Chris and she's fabulous. Uh, she's been a fan of the Geek Group for 10 years. All right, you can go back around front. Or really, so th this is, don't put the camera guys on camera, it's just bad. But uh, there's a lot of new people, there's a lot of stuff going on, there's a lot of growth, and things are really, you know, we're starting to get our feet under us, and that's cool. But losing Keizu really was a serious blow, and it's, it's a hell of an adjustment. We've still got the lab if we want to use it for stuff. We could still be building projects down there. The problem is we'd have to go down to Keizu to do it, and no, we're, we're done there. We're not doing any more demonstrations, we're not doing any more shows, we're not doing anything in Kalamazoo ever again. The city burned us really hard, and no, we're, we're, we're taking our ball and going home. So after 10 years of, in, of being in Kalamazoo, we've come back to our roots in Grand Rapids, and we're looking to build a lab here. Anybody out there who wants to help with that, who wants to be a part of it, God knows we could use your assistance now. More, more than ever, the Geek Group needs your help. And we're looking for people who want to donate, who want to be a part of this, who want to, I don't care if it's five bucks, I don't care if it's 10 or 20 or whatever. We want your help. The website donations work just like they always have. We're PayPal verified and all that jazz. You can go to thegeekgroup.org and donate. And it's pretty rare that I stand up here and, and really actually ask people for anything. You know, I usually it's, hey, look what we can do for you. Look what we're doing for you. It's all about the Geek Group providing materials and resources and demonstrations and events and all that. It's, it's about us doing for you. Well, we need your help, guys. It's, it's a major thing. We need a lab. And even a cheap lab, even, even a tiny basic lab, is going to cost a quarter million dollars. Now, it sounds like a lot of money. $250,000. That's a big chunk of change, but it's not. We have single pieces of equipment that cost that much. What I need is for you guys to understand that while $250,000 may be a staggering amount of money for any one of us, there's a lot of us in the Geek Group. We've had, what, 800 new members since November alone? The things that we are capable of together are staggering. And if I can get every member out there to kick in whatever they can afford, I don't care if it's five bucks, I don't care if it's 20, do what you can. If you can kick in 100 bucks, do it. A lot of people do. I, I got Paul over in Germany, who's never been here, who I've never met, sent us a $100 bill. I've never met the guy, have no idea who he is, and, and now he's a friend of mine, he's great. He's actually follows me on Facebook. But things like that, the people are out there. If you are like a business owner and you've got 10 grand hanging around and you want a big tax write-off, donate it. We're still a 501c3. It's still a tax write-off. We'll still give you all the publicity and the thank yous and all that that we've always done, but we need your help. So this is one of those rare occasions and I'm gonna stand up here and actually ask, I need your help. There's only so much that we can do on our own. Right now we're focused on making videos and on locating a new lab. And we'll do it, we'll get a lab. I'm gonna try and get a building donated if I can, but if I can't, we're gonna buy one. Why not? Right now, even without the lab, we're spending about $20,000 a month because we still own the building in Keizu. I gotta keep the water on, I gotta keep the lights on because we've got the security systems and the fire systems going. We've gotta pay taxes on it. We're paying $1,000 a month in taxes just to clear up the back taxes on the building in Grand Rapids, or the building in Keizu. Okay, $1,000 a month in taxes on a building that we just wanna get rid of. That's what the township did to us. I can hold it together at this level, and I can push it to grow. But if I can get your help, it grows so much faster. It takes a very little bit to make a huge impact, because we're not PBS. I know it feels that way, because I'm standing up here saying, we need your help, and we do. But we're not PBS. PBS has hundreds of thousands of dollars a year for budget. We don't. You make a donation of $100 around here, and I'm gonna call you and thank you personally because it matters, because it's a big deal to us. So do what you can. You've, I've proven myself. We're not gonna quit. Sure, Casey knocked us down pretty hard, but we're not quitting. We got a new set built, we got things rocking out, and we are pushing forward. 
We have 350 videos in production right now. We're about to be selling DVDs for the first time. The Geek Group is larger than it's ever been in its history. We're actually being amazingly successful right now. We just need a building. We're going through the growing pains of moving. I've proven myself and I've done everything I can on my own. Now I need your help. So take a minute, go to www.thegeekgroup.org and make a donation. I don't care if it's 50 cents or 50,000, but get off your butt and help me because it's people like you that matter. It's people like you that are gonna make it possible for us to get that one more microscope to that one more kid. We got 300 computers donated today. Dropped off in Keizu at the lab. Moose is down there right now picking them up. That's 300 more machines that we're going to get to give away to kids this year. This is possible through people like you. So, yeah, that's the quarterly update. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden with The Geek Group. And for me, all the guys, and Omni the Wonder Dog, we'll see you next time. Thanks.